Good morning, students. So today in today's class, we are going to go for the revision of your pulse and linear integrated circuit. In that, we are going to see some of the important questions which is appeared in the previous Osmania University paper. So some of the questions which I have uh, mentioned over here is just check it out over there. The first question here is state the cam clamping circuit theorem. So in this. They are, they, you people need to explain the clamping circuit theorem that already we discussed that uh, it has a gain, right? Forward gain AF by AR is equals to RF by RR that you need to write and if they ask to prove it, you can go with proving part also. And the second question in this is explain the operation of positive peak clamper. So we have learned about clipper and clamper, right? So you need to explain the operation by giving the input to the clamper circuitry and you have to use a positive peak clamper. So we had discussed about positive peak clamper, negative peak clamper. So out of that, this is your positive peak clamper is there. You need to write it down the points regarding that. The next question is derive the condition for perfect attenuation of the compensated attenuator. So here we have done one problem by giving series and parallel RC circuitry. You had that particular thing in your classwork note, so you can write it down the condition for perfect attenuation. And the fourth question here is explain the UTP and LTP in Smith trigger circuitry. So we have to explain the Smith trigger circuitry which you have which you had upper threshold point and lower threshold point. That point you need to explain by drawing the Smith trigger, right? Next we had Draw the circuit of monostable multivibrator and derive an expression for pulse width and plot the waveform of base and collector of each transistor. So here they gave you monostable multivibrator. First thing you need to draw the monostable multivibrator circuitry and then explain the pulse width. How do we plot the waveform for base and collector of each transistor? So we did this derivation in your classwork of multivibrators, right? So that you can write it down. The next question is draw and explain positive clipper. So clipper clamper. So here is positive clipper used there. We you, you can practice all the things. They can give you about negative clipper, positive reference, negative reference. All the clippers you do have, you can go with that. The next we had high explain high pass RC circuit as differentiator and low pass RC circuit as integrator. So this also we have learned RC circuitry of integrator and differentiator. That derivation you have to write and you need to explain the terms regarding the given condition. Next question is define the three types of errors that occurs in time based generator. So we do have time based generator. So you need to write what are the three errors you had. Sweep error is there, all those three, you need to explain the errors. Likewise, we had explain the response of low pass RC circuit of square wave input and step input. So write down this square wave and that particular thing, a step input for low pass RC circuit. So try this thing. And the next question is design the monostable multivibrator using triple phi timer to generate the pulse width of 75 milliseconds. So here we had triple phi timers we discussed how it is going to work as a monostable multivibrator. That point you need to write and explain and pulse width is given TD is equals to 75 milliseconds. So try that one. Derive the expression for free running frequency of a stable multivibrator using operational amplifiers. So using op amp, you have to explain the free running frequency of a stable multivibrator. So this also you can see and you can explain by using op amps, not here, but triple phi timer, not this directly transistors. You have to use the operational amplifier and you need to explain about a stable multivibrator. And the next question is explain the concept of phase log loop PLL with block diagram and explain the function of each block. So you have to explain the PLL. PLL stands for phase log loop with block diagram. Explain the block diagram and the function of each block. So it has VCO, voltage control oscillator is there and all the three points, whatever, whenever we explain it, go through the video and the previous videos and you will able to find out the block diagram of PLL. Likewise, we do have explain the successive operation of analog to digital converter or ADC. So this is a 13th question. Explain the operation of successive approximation type of ADC with example. So you have to do A to D converter by the method of successive approximation. Likewise, you do have next question. Explain the working of R to R ladder type DAC circuit, digital to analog circuitry. So by using 
R to our ladder we have this also you can write. So these are the few of the questions of LAQ students. So we'll see more of the LAQ question in the next video.